Well, good day, shoppers, Princess Auto shoppers. Welcome to your January 7th to the 19th of 2020 Princess Auto Flyer. Two week sale. So, what do we got here today? Doesn't seem like it's too thick. Like, uh, you know, after Christmas, it's like, oh no, we don't want to sell too much now. <laughs> anyway, so we got a nice convection heater and a battery tester. You know, I had one of those. Here is it. I cannot find it in here. I'm not sure if I loaned it out to someone or what, but that's all right, anyways. Three dollars and thirty-three cents for a five-gallon pail. That's not bad. Insulated tarps, floor jacks. No, need those. What do we got here? I'm gonna have to get you up a little bit here. One second. Up a little bit and then down. Silly camera. Okay, if I don't touch it, we'll be good. Uh, what do we got here? Still got these on sale. Those trailer dollies. I don't think I could build one. You couldn't probably buy the two wheels for under 50 bucks here. Well, because what kind of wheels are sort of like these? Those there, well, they're 10 bucks, so there's 20 right there, so that's half the price of the whole cart. <laughs> oh, and if you want with something like, like that, a little more, a little more beef here, they're, you know, $32 and $49, I'm going to go buy that thing. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I could uh, get the tires and the steel and put it together for probably under 100 bucks, so... Sometimes it's a good deal just to go buy the thing, even though it's probably chintzy. I'd build it where you couldn't pick it up off the ground, but... Oh, pardon me anyways. So, air compressor. Air compressor. 500 bucks. 600 bucks, sorry. I need a better compressor in here, but I kind of don't think I want one that'll run off electricity. Because I just don't have the proper juice ran out here for, uh, for that kind of an application, so... Then I don't want to run a gas motor in here, so like you're kind of stuck, right? Anyways, maybe if I filled the roof with a bunch of balloons and filled them all up and then, you know, lined them all into one line and, okay, I need air right now, open the balloon, and that's all you get. I know, that's just crazy, but. Uh, we got some battery cable boosters and stuff, clamps. There's one of those testers for your OBD2. Some uh, jack stands. Oh, I don't think I need anything like that. And I don't know what that is, but anyways, we'll keep going. Oh, there's a pretty good deal for an air hose. 50 foot, 3 8 retractable air hose. Hmm. It's not going to do much good if you don't have a good compressor, though. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So we won't be doing that, probably. Titanium, 327 piece titanium coated drill bit set for 100 bucks. Lots of different sizes there, right down to pretty much nothing. We got some grinders and a vacuum in a toolbox. No, it's actually a vacuum. It looks like a toolbox, though. That's funny. But anyways, we got in this page. Oh, the stamp set. I've actually got one of these. Stampin' set. Awesome. And uh, mirrors. Some punches. Punches. No, nope, don't see anything there. There's some uh, storage bin rack. I don't know if it comes with the bins too. I guess it probably would. Anti-fatigue bubble mats for st standing on all day, I guess. Let's get some good shoes on you and some some good arch support, and you'll be fine. Anyways. People buy cheapy-ish kind of shoes, I think, and then they wonder why their feet hurt at the end of the day. Well, I've actually got uh, a set of uh, orthotics in my boots that were customly molded to my feet, and uh, wow, what a difference. Anyways, apparently I had fallen arches, which is like the center of your foot. But anyways, another story. Oh, a little parts washer. Something I gotta do soon is my parts washer is um, get it uh, cleaned out and put some new fluid in it. When I washed out the part for the AR, man, that really gummed her up good. <laughs> so she's due, I guess. 
Now we got some plastic shelving units. I don't know about them, but I guess if you don't put a whole lot on them. They don't really have a whole pile of good stuff on sale this time around. Ooh, that's nice. So heavy duty metal cutting bandsaw. Fourteen hundred bucks pretty much. Well that's kinda neat too, one of those pinch welders. <laughs> Some wire. Welding welding cable lug crimper. Why wouldn't you just smash it with a hammer in a vise or something and squash it that way? I guess that kinda goes like this and then fold it in real good, right? You can do that with a punch though, really. Oh, by the way, we're halfway into the staples. Didn't take long, did it? Here's some welding stuff. Brain dead auto darkening welding helmet. Oh my goodness. I liked when they had the Canadian Tire here with the Canadian Tire old style money on it. That was kind of neat. Should get one just to have it, but yeah, I don't really need that. There's a smaller compressor. It's a thousand bucks though. Seven horsepower motor. Oh, so that would need a fair bit of juice. Yeah, that's that's a fairly big air compressor. Well, so far, I've been getting along pretty good with the one I got, but if I want a plasma cut anything, we're gonna need some more air. <laughs> a lot more air, anyways. There's some TV stands. Oh, they're selling guns now. Spring-powered air pistol with BBs. It looks pretty darn authentic, though, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna get that and rob a store. <laughs> cheap, cheap tools, 20 bucks to go rob a store. Oh man. Bubba cooler kind of thing. We've got a couple like that and it's actually really good. It does really good. LED solar 700 loom motion light. That's not bad, 40 bucks. They're coming down a bit now. Oh yes, when those things first come out, woo, they were expensive. Now that's actually pretty good too, 70 bucks for, I like those core reels I've got, I've got uh, two of them, Th three of them, i got three of them at my garage, I've got one, no, I'm fibbing ya, I've only got two of them, one at the front door, one at the back door, yes, i only got two of them, I tricked ya, I tricked ya, but um, I found these tri-ends, they have like, like a plug, a plug, and a plug, so you can plug different things in, they're garbage. So the one I've already chopped it off and put a just one. I mean, really, how many things you're gonna you're gonna really plug into it? One's lots. So for my anyways, my uses, but now these things are pretty good. I like these uh, chain ratcheting load binders here. And they then they tighten like a screw together and it tightens your chain on. A lot safer, a lot more uh, I think it's easier to use than the, just the, the bear trap ones. They're kind of eh, come off too, you know, and you gotta tie wires around them so they don't come off or this this isn't gonna come off. Because once you bound her down, she's good. Oh, $80 chainsaw, wow. Pull on, cheap. Some heaters, some more heaters. I got uh, some heat in here. I didn't bother turning it on today, though. I didn't figure it could be in here too long, so. It's almost nice enough out today, though, that I could have maybe got uh, Got a good and warm in here and uh, spray foam, but I don't think that's a good idea to be uh, spraying chemicals inside somewhere that's sucking and flaming things up. So I'll have to wait till a summer, spring or summer day when it's nice out. Anyways, what we got here? We got some uh, trifold aluminum ramps. Well, pretty good for them too. Battery blankets. Mm, good idea. Steering wheel covers. Wow. Two pack, four LED work lights. 1200 looms for 50 bucks. Gosh, they seem expensive a lot still. Like, that's even expensive. Ugh. Anywho. What we got here? Nope, hydraulic stuff, and I got some of these. Actually, I've got one uh, hanging over here. I'll show you right now. And I do use these actually a fair bit. I don't exactly remember how they got into the shed here, but. That's uh, one of them right there. And they're good. Ericsson makes them. Same of these ones. Exact same thing. And they are, what do they say here? 10,000 pound axle strap. Safe working load is 3,300. So, yeah, they work good. So, what I do with these is uh, I would go around like an axle or something like this. And then put your ratchet straps 
onto that, so they work good. I like them, so anti-scratch, right? Because if you just wrap the hook around and the knot itself, there's a chance you couldn't get in there and scratch something. Especially if we're towing like Boris or something, right? So that is our last page. We are out of flyer material. $89, $90 for it looks like kind of like a snowblower engine. Wow, that is dirt cheap. <laughs> wow, let me need to get one of those just to take it apart. Hmm, future video maybe. Anyways, that is it today. January 7th to the 19th, two week sale flyer from Princess Auto. Thanks again for watching, catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.